Welcome back to another episode of Box Hype. This is Eric. Today we're going to do some pop hunting. Hey everybody, I got the itch to do a little pop hunting today and uh, see what I could find out there, see what I could add to the old collection. Uh, I had a little bit of luck. There were a few good finds out there. Uh, I didn't get any chases, I'll tell you right now, but I wish I did. I've never seen a chase in a store, uh, but I'm still holding out hope for that eventually. At least you can see what you would expect if you go look around in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for Pops. Uh, they had a lot of uh, Walgreens stores, uh, a Barnes & Noble, a Toys R Us, GameStop, and uh, anyway, just watch the video and uh, see what we find together. And at the end, I'm gonna open up a Funko Mystery Pack and see what we get from that too. Let's try Barnes & Noble now. There's a ton. I'll look around, come back. Looky there, the gunslinger. Gonna have to pick this one up for sure. Already got unmasked going for it. I don't really care for the rest of the ones. Cassian. That's our regular Peter Parker. but I think I'll grab this one. We have Iron Patriot, Dorbs. Never seen this neat before. Mace Windu. Does anybody actually buy those? Just the regular Spider Man. Okay. I think we're striking out here too. There we are again. Another Walgreens. Alright. I don't have this one, but unfortunately, I'm not buying this one. Box is always messed up on that one when I find it. Marvel Girl, Miss Marvel, rather, I already have her. More wrestling ones all the way back. They have all of the Pac Man on them. Not having a whole lot of luck today. Hmm. Guess what? Another Walgreens. 
maybe we'll find something at this one. Mace Windu. Homemade suit Spider Man. Okay. We're striking out left and right today. I'm gonna do one more before I head back to the hot cave. Okay. A bunch more Mace Windus. More Spider Man unmasked. Bunch more Pac-Man guns. No exclusives. Or chases, of course. I see these at every Walgreens. Are they worth anything? Are they worth collecting? Okay, let's try Toys R Us. Here's a few. Bunch of Teen Titan ones. Pretty much all of the Teen Titan ones. Exclusive. Oh, look at that. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> okay, so this is just the Teen Titan section. There's a bunch all in here, but I don't really see anything. Demo Gorgon's cool. It's not exclusive. Toys R Us is a bust. Try something different and do it at GameStop. Much better assortment here. That's cool. Looks like all the good stuff around my area is sold already, but I got a few things. Um, one, I got Mace Windu. I actually have Mace already in my collection, but I know someone who needs this one, so I went ahead and grabbed one for him. Um, that's a really cool looking pop, and it's kind of plentiful here in DFW. Um, I've seen videos of people saying they can't find them, but um, I'm surprised at that. Um, when I found, oh, I got that one by the way out of Walgreens. Um, Really cool one I picked up at Barnes & Noble, the Gunslinger, from a Dark Tower movie that hasn't released yet. That's really cool. Box is in really good shape. I'm happy about that one. Um, it's going to look great on the shelf. Let's see. 
over at GameStop, I picked up the one of the Wonder Woman pops. Didn't have this one. I like it. Everything Wonder Woman is pretty hot right now, so I uh, yeah, thought I'd add that to the collection too. I thought I hit the jackpot. I've been looking at all the Walgreens for the uh, new Spider-Man uh, pops. I found one of the newer ones, and I'm happy about that, except a box is screwed up. They stuck these labels on there saying not for a resale at other locations or something, and there was just no getting that sticker off without destroying the box. And I should have just left it on there, but you know, I'll keep it anyway for now, and hopefully I can get a better one in a better box later on. I did get a couple of bonus items that I didn't intend on finding, but uh, I got a Dorbs uh, Taskmaster from Walgreens. Didn't have that one. Pretty cool. It's an exclusive. As well as the Iron Spider, also from Walgreens, another exclusive. Um, I've seen people looking for these online a lot, and uh, there it was in front of me, so I had to grab them both. Now, I'm curious about the mystery Funko box. I got this at GameStop and there's a chance to get a gold pop in there. I know that's probably slim chance, but hey, you know, we'll see what we do. Okay. What's in the box? They got them all wrapped up to keep it a surprise. They got a Mega Man Retro, kind of a gray tone, grayscale color one. That's pretty cool, actually. It's not the gold one, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. What else did we pick up here? I got a Rock Candy Suicide Squad Enchantress. That's the first rock candy I've ever received. And they're actually pretty pretty good figures. That's really detailed. Just what I need, a whole nother uh, collection of items to add to my shelves, which are already getting full. <laughs> We've got a couple of Five Nights at Freddy's Pint Size Heroes, Mystery Heroes, and let's see what's in there. We got Crying Child from Five Nights at Freddy's. And set this little guy right here. And we have one more. Another Five Nights at Freddy's. So, who is this one? Silver Fox, I think? Or Foxy Silver or Silver Foxy or something like Silver Foxy, I think is it. Yeah, okay. And. That is it for today. So tell me what you think down in the comments. Uh, what pops are you looking for lately that are still circulating out there? And I'm, I'm still looking for the newer ex exclusive Spider-Man pops over at Walgreens, but in my area, they're just scarce. I haven't seen one except for the messed up box. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.